Hey all you flight jockeys and nuggets. My name is Silver Creep and I'm going to be talking to you about the Airmec Striker Standard Issue. The Airmec Striker Standard Issue is the primary flight craft you will be receiving when you begin Airmec. It's an all-around good fighter with decent speed, defense, and firepower. So let's look a bit more at it. As you can see, the Striker Airmic could come in three different variants. The first one, this is your standard issue. This is the basic color scheme you get. The second variant is the Shadow Ops, is the Black Ops Striker. I was going to say this is a Shadow Ops. As you can see, it looks a little bit cooler looking as well. It's black and purple. Ooh, spacey, futuristic. The third version, as I mentioned before, is a more militaristic version. And any of you guys that are military experts or watched enough war movies and played enough video games, you'll know that this version is pretty much... An F-15. Oh boy, the F-15. <laughs> All around, the Striker is a pretty good aircraft to begin the game with. It's easy to use, there's no fancy tricks or skills you need to have to play with it, and it's just an all-around good aircraft. As you can see, right off the bat, the Airmec is a pretty quick fighter. It's fast, very agile, and very easy to use. Its air form is the aircraft. And its ground form is a humanoid mech. I mean, hence the game, Air Mech. If there wasn't any mechs that turned into aircraft, I don't think this game would even be the same name. <laughs> As you can see, it's, pretty, it's a pretty nice aircraft. Pretty nice robot. It's very fast, very easy to get around the map. You can outrun almost any projectile shot at you. Missiles, guns, and just simply get from one place to another relatively quickly and easily. It can carry one heavy unit, or three light units. Now mind you, the carrying capacity of this aircraft is limited. It's not very fast when it's carrying units, and it can easily be shot down if you're not careful. You'll notice that there are three different upgrades this aircraft has. Shield, Sword, and Damage Enhancer. Damage Enhancer basically improves the firepower of the guns your mech has, being able to take down enemies a lot quicker and increasing the firepower you already carry with your aircraft in both air and ground form. The Sword and Shield is the second upgrade the airmech gets. When you purchase this upgrade, it produces literally a sword and shield in your mech's arms. So not only do you have a good defense weapon, but you have an awesome melee weapon that can actually slash through tanks and other units with relative ease. The more you upgrade it, the more powerful it becomes. This is something really useful, but be aware that it will drain your power, so be careful when you're using it. Try to find the best times to pull out your sword and shield when your guns just ain't gonna cut it. The last upgrade is a shield. Pretty much a shield. This envelopes your entire craft when you upgrade it and is able to be quite useful against heavy firepower that's being shot at you. If you're carrying some heavy units, you can flip on the shield, drop them off, and hopefully it'll take enough damage for you to get the hell out of there. Mind you though, this shield was, does not last for a long time, so you have to be very careful about it. Next, let's talk about pilot selection. Pilots offer different benefits to your aircraft depending on which one you pick. Two of the, the most important ones are Lexi, basically who gives extra offensive damage for the air mix you pilots, and Beepo, who actually gives more defensive, dam defensive upgrades for the air mix pilots. Both these pilots are pretty good to start off with because they give you a chance to test if you're great on the offensive or better with the defensive. So allowing yourself to try with both these pilots can give you a pretty decent edge in the battlefield the more you get used to the more experienced pilots. Keep in mind though, you're an air mech, and any shenanigans you want to bring about are more than welcome to be brought about. Hopefully you don't have to worry about dropping off the edge of the map and ending up like soup. Either way, this is Silver Creep, and I hope you guys have a fun time playing air mech, and enjoy using the Striker as your primary and most awesomely used aircraft in the game.